Dragon copy. So call from the core there that the undock sequence has started. We also heard a call on the loops that the umbilicals have begun to retract. So with Dragon getting ready for the undock sequence, I think it'd probably be a good time to check in with Dan at Mission Control at Johnson. Dan? Hey, thanks, Shiva. Yeah, we can see the umbilicals retracting. They're just about completed. Umbilical demate complete and nominal. All right, we heard the confirmation the umbilicals have demated. Again, those provided uh, hardline power and data connections. Those have now detached. The first set of six hooks are now driving. Reminder, we've got two different sets of hooks, uh, each in sets of six, 12 total. After the first set has released, we are committed to an undocking. So that first set six is driving now. And we expect all of this to take another three minutes or so before we get that physical separation when those thrusters on Dragon will fire and begin backing Crew Dragon Endurance away from the space station. So again, umbilicals have retracted. That undocking sequence being commanded right on time at the new time. At about 15 minutes after the hour, the first set of hooks are now driving to release. Following that, the next six will immediately start to disengage. And then once those have separated, the thrusters will fire. We'll get the two quick undocking burns. That first one only being about a second and a half, so just a real quick pulse of those service section Dracos to start backing Dragon away. And then a slightly longer one of about five seconds to increase uh, that rate. But we are on our way right now still a couple of minutes until we get that physical separation, still waiting for that first set of hooks to disengage. But again, a lot already done to get here. The, the station itself uh, still in the attitude control over on the U.S. segment. We've done something called inhibiting DSAT, so essentially no thrusters on the station uh, are able to fire right now. Um, so attitude fully in control of the... First set of hooks open and nominal. Second set of hooks traveling. All right, first set open. Second set opening. We are now committed to an undock, so... Uh, this next set of six are going to open. We should have them open within the next two minutes, and then we'll get physical separation, and we'll call you an undocking time. And we're seeing nominal performance so far on this second set of hooks. Standing by should be within about a minute or so until this second set opens. That'll be all 12 opened. And there will be no physical mechanism still in place holding Dragon to the international docking adapter. We're looking at it attached to the forward port on the station to that uh, docking adapter. As soon as this next set opens within the next minute, Dragon's going to fire a real quick burst again about a second and a half to start backing away and that'll be our physical separation and that'll be our time of undocking after that initial undocking burn we'll do another one lasting about five seconds to keep backing away and then we'll do a couple of departure burns to eventually bring dragon uh, out over top of the station around and then underneath but for now we are all eyes on those on that last set of hooks holding Dragon in place where it's been for more than 150 days attached to this forward port on the space station. Standing by for physical separation. All hooks open.
all hooks open to part burn one has fired Dragon Endurance undocked 262 statute miles over and the Coral Dragon Sea. SpaceX on the big loop separation confirmed. Second copy, we see it. So a successful separation again, Dragon undocking at 1.20 a.m. Central Time, 2.20 a.m. Eastern Time with Dragon and Station flying 262 statute miles over the Coral Sea off the northeastern coast of Australia. So with that, Dragon now stepping into Depart these burns zero burns. nominal. Dragon copy. All right, so undock burns completed, that depart burn zero completed. Next one coming up in just a couple of minutes, but with Dragon now flying free, I'm gonna toss it back over to Shiva and Leah at MCCX and Hawthorne to take us through the rest of the flight. Thanks a bunch, Dan. So we had some great shots there of the first depart burn. Uh, we're coming up on depart burn, so that was the depart burn zero, and now we're coming up on depart burn number one. Now this will be a short firing of the Dragon's Draco thrusters. The burn just lasting about 16 seconds. You can see that Dragon has begun to fly away from the space station and these initial depart burns essentially increase the range rate from the station so we can get away from the International Space Station and get out of uh, these various different spheres of control uh, around the vehicle that keep both of the vehicles safe. <laughs> 